Princess. I'm here in our school, Mala, and today I just want to do a very quick update about what is going on with our compost in a jar experiment. I know that some people got to actually do this experiment at home, but other people just did the virtual only activity for that lesson and did not get to try making their own compost in a jar. So for those of you who are not doing it on your own, I want to show you how ours is doing here at our school. So right here, this is my jar of compost that you saw me make in the video. I put in all kinds of food scraps, kitchen scraps, things that I found around the mala, and I also put in some shredded up paper, dried leaves, and decomposed mulch. I came one time already and I noticed it was too wet in the bottom, so I poured the water out. And right now I see that it does have a little bit of water collecting in the bottom, so maybe I'll pour that out again. But aside from that, it looks very different than when I first made it. Some of the items on the top still look just the way that they were when I put them in, like some of these leaves and some of the paper. You can still tell what they are, but it's a little bit hard for the camera to show it, but I can see, just looking at it with my eyes, I can see that there is mold actually growing on these leaves and on the paper. And maybe you can see it in the camera too. There are little flying insects that are coming to visit this compost jar as well. So there's things like gnats and fruit flies coming into the compost jar to feed on some of these things that we put in here. As you get further down into the jar, things are even more broken down. One thing that you can do if you want to speed up your composting process is you can kind of stir it. When we do this with our full-sized compost piles, we call this turning the pile. So I just have a little stick here. You could also do it by maybe shaking your jar if you're careful to not let the liquid from the top come out. But I'm just sort of getting some of those pieces that were on the top that weren't breaking down because they were getting so dry up on the top. I'm just gonna get them down into the bottom and switch out the top and the bottom and also make sure that there's lots of nice air pockets. been one week since I stirred the jar up and check out how it's doing now. Wow, things are way more broken down. You can see how little stuff there is in this jar. At the very beginning of our experiment, this jar was filled all the way up to the top and all of those things that we put into the jar have really smashed down as they have decomposed and they are much smaller or totally broken down now. There are a few things in the jar that I can still recognize, like some leaves, some paper, maybe a few little sticks, but a lot of the stuff is totally unrecognizable. Things like the tomatoes and the fresh leaves, I definitely cannot see that stuff in there anymore. And seeing how small this is all getting, it lets me know that decomposition is definitely happening. So I'll put the lid back on my jar and I'll put it back over on the shelf and we'll let this experiment keep on going to see if we can get some real compost from our compost in the jar.